Hey everyone, it's Star Wars Day. Or will be tomorrow, because I'm recording this at the wee hours of the late night and or the morning. Um, in honor of that, I'm going to be reading the best Star Wars Wikipedia articles. The first one's for Jizz. So, uh, you know. Jizz was a genre of music. Jizz whalers were musicians who specialized in the genre. Max Rebo and his band were popular jizz whalers. Jizz was first mentioned in Star Wars Return of the Jedi Junior Novelization, authored by Ryder Windham and released in 2017. In an interview with Big Event Podcast, Alden I. I don't know. I think that's Han Solo's new actor. Talked about his research for the role as Han Solo, yeah, and mentioned that he'd read articles on Wikipedia, taking note of jizz, among others. Jizz was an upbeat, swinging genre of music, most notably performed by Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes and the Max Rebo Band. Other notable jizz bands included Bobolo's, Bobolo Baker's All Bith Band, Bith are the weird penis-headed aliens that uh, play the Cantina song in episode four. Evar Orbis and his galactic jizz whalers. Hut. Figrin Dan and the new modal nodes. Wait, Phil, Figrin Dan 2 and the new modal nodes. And the Sazanels. What's Hut? Hut was a jizz band that consisted of a being under the pseudonym of Sluggo the Hut. He was not a Hut. And the kidnap and her. What? Sluggo the Hut. He was the. He was on the jizz band hut. What is this? What? What the hell is this? Star Wars Game Master screen. Oh, it's for the tabletop RPG, I think. Yeah, Star Wars Role Playing Game Second Edition. Okay, whatever. Sluggo the Hut. Jizz instruments. A bass viol. A band fill. What's a bass viol? It's just a double bass. Okay. A band fill. Oh, it's this ugly thing. Nalan Chiel playing a band fill. Yippee skippy. All right. The Dori the the Dori the Dorian Beshwin Canal, also known as fizz, was a short single reed instrument notably used in jizz. Fizz. What the hell? It's one of those dumb things that's trapped in canon now because it's in the movies, even though it's completely stupid. The gas and string drum. The jizz. The jizz box. The jizz was a single instrument that was the core of any jizz. <laughs> Sometimes I really can't believe that George Lucas really wrote jizz. You sound like a festering jizz box. I got a festering jizz box right over there in that corner. The jizz box was a musical device. In 13 after Battle of Yavin, the protocol droid C-3PO, who was stranded on the planet of Nim Drovis, auditioned to perform in a, con at a cantina called the Wookiee's Cod Piece. That's a gay bar. You can't tell me otherwise. C-3PO performed by playing back songs stored in his memory core with his vocabulator. It sounded like a bad jizz box. The Wookiee's Cod Piece... The walls were lined with a pink plush material. Briefly mentioned in Planet of Twilight. Hey, there's Leia with her yellow lightsaber. That's cool. People had to know, right? Like, please. People had to know that jizz is a thing, right? Okay, clue, clue horn mood synthesizer. Nalargon. <laughs> 
or the red ball jet keyboard is a keyboard instrument in the signature instrument of Max Rebo. Circular in shape, player would sit at the center and press ending at the combination of 21 keys. Canon. Man, thank God Disney split everything into Legends or Canon so we can have stupid things like this. So stupid, so dumb. Omnibox. They misspelled Omni. It's a musical instrument used by Tech Moore. Ugh. Omnibox was a notoriously hard to play instrument that enhanced music and commonly used in jizz. It was an amplifier to attenuate and alter the bass pedals of music. The sophisticated parts such as the Thwe and Bwom pedals. Tech Moore played one for the figure and down in the middle nodes. In Chalman's Spaceport Cantina. It's a pedal. Great. In Darth Maul Shadow Hunter, Omnibox is misspelled correctly, and they spell it the right way. Darth Maul Shadow Hunter. It's a novel. Okay. What's this one? Oh, it's one of the new comics. I haven't read these. They look good, though. I gotta be honest. I don't give a flapping shit about the one guy. Poe Dameron? I don't care about Poe Dameron at all. I don't know why people keep pushing him for SummerSlam. Okay, Peel Box, Plume Sounder, and the Slitherhorn. <laughs> oh, man. Return of the Jedi novelization introduced the term Jizz Whaler to describe a musician... But Jizz, as the name of the musical style, was not introduced into the publication of Tales from Mos Eisley Cantina 12 years later. The packaging of the 2007 Figure and Dan and the Modal Nodes action figure, five pack, refers to the band's music as jazz. Which means that they had to know, right? It's music genres. Semi protected articles. That ought to be good. Opera. Oh. Man. All right. Semi protected articles got to be bad, right? Like, it ought to be dumb, I guess. Ezra and Ray are protected. Wonder why. Ben Solo, everyone's favorite. Oh, I guess it's just popular ones. Is Jizz that popular? Oh, man. Canon. Yeah, that's Juno Eclipse. Oh, but Juhani. You know, Juhani is Star Wars is his first gay character. She's uh and and it's because she's in Kotor. Like George Lucas didn't like George Lucas is not that cool. It's just that Bioware is so so absolutely gay. So, you know, Juhani is the first lesbian in Star Wars. Because of course it is. Deal. Oh, this is a canon dude? Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which one? This one. Okay. Anyway. I'm looking for a specific article. Here we go. Breast. Breasts were the mammary glands of a mammalian species. Ben Solo reveals his chest. Since breasts reasonably appear in every piece of Star Wars media, this list only includes specific mentions of them. Most wanted. What's most wanted, and why do they mention breasts so much? I'm skimming the article right now. What is this? I guess it's just a prequel to Solo. Uh, whatever, though. Mentioned only. There are a lot of breasts in Rogue One. Force Collector. I guess that's kind of all right. I don't know why it's on the breast article. Oh. That's okay, though. That's fine. It's blue. Breast with a mammary gland of a... Here, I'll cover it with this. 
Breasts were the mammary glands of mammalian species and some repto mammals and normally have a distinguishing were normally a distinguishing feature of the female of the species. Males did have breasts <laughs> but were far less developed than their female counterparts due to sexual dimorphism. And the quote on this article is from the memoirs of female stormtrooper Asila Druch, I don't care if you're built like a Askajian, no one needs a chest plate that looks like it has its own gravity well projectors. In some cultures, sentient females nurse their own young. This is true of both primitive planetary societies like Dathomir, where the warrior women of the Singing Mountain Clan would feed their children even during solemn councils of war, and high-tech interstellar civilization. Leia Organa Solo. I'm glad she hyphenated, by the way. Also, I'm glad that she didn't make her last name Skywalker. That'd be a dumb thing that would kind of override her character, you know? Because instead of being like a character on her own merit, to be like, no, no, guys, I'm a Skywalker now, remember? It's my character. Anyway. Leia Organa Solo nursed her twins from time to time. Other than that, they were just left to kind of like suck the meat out of the holes that, you know, just descended from the walls, you know? Had to eat the rats that show up in the bat cave. Uh, Mara Jade Skywalker nursed her son Ben until he's a few months old. They weaned him pretty early then. Um, on Earth, I'm pretty sure that it's pretty average to like nurse someone until they're like four. I think so, at least. At least two. Even Ke- uh, even Tenel Kaj Jo, Queen Mother of the Hapis Consortium, nursed her daughter Alana herself. Alternative techniques of feeding infants did exist, as the TDL nanny droid could store up to two liters of milk internally. Other sentient species retained strong breastfeeding traditions as well. Female Wookiees had six breasts. I didn't want to know that, which they used to nurse their litters of cubs. Asagajian females also had six breasts, while Grand females had three. Wait, they had three boobs? It's not really as symmetrical. Role in males. As male individuals are not biologically meant to nurse their offspring, they often sported smaller breasts and produced no milk. Mandalore the Lesser, then a gladiator, Aaron Peacebringer, a planetary leader, <laughs> and Anakin Skywalker in certain circumstances, such as Nalvan, would freely exhibit them. Uh, I think Nalvan is a planet that's just named after Nalvana, the company. Nalvan. Like the animation company. And Nalvan... Come on. Behind the scenes. Yeah, I knew my Star Wars lore. Comes from Nelvana. They made the animated sequence. Anyway. Uh, Males in primitive cultures would also go bare-chested in their young adulthood and and childhood, such as the Nelvanians. Males would also go bare-chested to allow freedom of mobility or body temperature, as exhibited by as exhibited by the whippet Jedi Master Kroch, Galen Mark while on Felucia. Kroch, huh? Oh boy, he's a whippet. This is a dumb-looking race. Whippets, go to hell. Whippets, get out of here. Anyway. Galen Mark, Ron Felucia. Galen Mark is the dude from the Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Uh, and so Felucia is just the jungle planet. It's really hot, so he's just bare and chested. With, his, with all of his generic Assassin's Creed charm, you know? Coron leader Carvaster on Karan Kal and Kiati Mundi while training in his youth. I hate Kiati Mundi. I don't know what it is. I just can't stand this guy. I, like, I hate him. I look at him and I just don't like him. If I saw this dude in public, I would like spin kick his penis head. There I said it. You know? I know I'm not exactly breaking new ground, but his head looks like genitals. Anyway. Some males, such as Anakin Skywalker and Karan Horn, would sleep bare-chested for comfort. Although, it should be noted that Horn undressed completely to sleep, as opposed to being bare-chested. Wait, this dude sleeps nude? Okay. Force-sensitive human male pilot. Oh, Wedge Antilles. Wedge, Wedge Antilles is another guy I absolutely cannot stand. I don't know what it is. I despise him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I guess he's from the games then, like the Jedi Academy or whatever, probably. He's in the comics. Whatever. 
Male breasts were usually not covered when the individual was in a back tank, as exhibited by Luke Skywalker and Kyle Katarn, or when tortures, such as seen with Cade Skywalker. Medical examinations, such as those performed by the Kaminoans on their clones, were usually performed on bare-chested males. Men of various species, such as the human Jiraiya Sin, the Natolian Kit Fisto, and a corn commander also swam bare-chested. Kit Fisto's cool. I like him. Exposing one's chest, also exhibited by Sin, was a part of preparing to make love. <laughs> Who's this guy? Wow, he looks kind of cool. <laughs> He's a bounty hunter. Hell yeah. He fought Darth Crate. Good. I hate Darth Crate. Darth Crate is a fucking virgin. I should probably watch my language. That's my one F, right? I can still be PG-13. In mainstream galactic society, breasts were usually kept covered. Female patients in back tanks could have their breasts covered, but in some cases they chose not to. Leia Organa seemed unperturbed by the sight of Shen breastfeeding in public on Dathomir, and Luke Skywalker was similarly unfazed when he encountered the Fasalian adept Norika wearing only a sarong. I'm gonna check out that. Feeling Fasalian, no pictures. Dang. I was hoping. Some Twi'lek dancers perform bare chested, and Skagian females reprise as dancers and lingerie models because of their six breasted physiques. And then the picture here is Ayla Sakura using her breasts to impress a Gossam guard. Non-mammals with breasts. A number of females belonging to non-mammalian species were known to have breasts. Notably those of the reptilian feline, although other sources indicated the size and pigmentation of the spinal ridge were the main distinguishing feature of gender dimorphism in this species. Chirasa, who is a shape-sifting neti, a sentient species of plants, had breasts in her pseudo-human form. Rhodian females, ew, also per possessed breasts with functional mammary glands. Offward females, however, would often wear loose clothing in an attempt to disguise their gender. Some females would flaunt their physique if they knew it would work to their advantage. Trussa, a tree with pronounced breasts. Oh, man. During the development of Star Wars Galaxies, the team worked with Lucasfilm to determine the female Mon Calamari's physiology. Because the Mon Calamari were not mammals, early concepts showing the Mon Calamari with breasts were eventually rejected. Despite this, the character of Mina Tillis was depicted in the Clone Wars as having breasts. Let me see here. Breast on Wikipedia. That's definitely going to get me banned, right? Mina Tillis was a female Juan Calamari in the center of Calamari sector. Whatever. Who's this lady? Guess she's just a stormtrooper. Whatever. That's my dumb Star Wars Day video. Uh, happy Star Wars Day, everyone. Yep. Ba -na -na -na. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba. Okay, that's Star Wars Day. Remember to not be weird and uh, like Star Wars, because people who do are weirdos. <laughs>